Welcome back to Switch Corner. It's our weekly breakdown again of 10 deals under $10, or of course your local currency. Except this week it's more like 16 games because there's a whole lot of good available right now at steel prices, and I didn't want to skip anything. If you are looking to stretch that bank account just a tiny bit more though, check out our Saturday edition too. That one, no price restrictions, just lots of games, and then we give away two $10 eShop gift cards every single week. With that though, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we or do here, join our growing family, and let's get started. So as always, we're going to be covering the US, the UK, the EU, and the AU Switch eShops. Most of the games today, I will say, are available in every region, but just to confirm, take a quick look in the lower left corner of the screen, and you'll see the price breakdown and when it's available till. Kicking things off this week then, Smoke and Sacrifice. This one, it's got a pretty decent 70% off. It's calling itself though an open world narrative driven RPG. I call it just super challenging. Story here though is for sure the highlight as you take on the role of a woman by the name of Sachi. Here you was forced to sacrifice your firstborn to the Sun Tree, a godlike structure your town worships. With this traumatizing offense though in recent memory, Sachi questions what she knows and starts looking into you know the hidden secrets of her home, those that rule it and then the Sun Tree itself. It's for sure dark stuff and that carries across in nearly every Every area, especially like the 2D and 3D visuals and the very ominous soundtrack. This one though, it's basically a survival adventure combined with a whole lot of resource management and crafting that's based around recipes you'll find in this world. I really enjoyed it, but it definitely has the ramping difficulty, that is for sure. Next up then, Fally, this one, it's got a decent 60% off and this first person adventure exploration title absolutely, I'll be honest, caught me off guard. Going in, I wasn't really expecting too much, but I gotta say it really is unique. The idea is simple, you're an archeologist out to find the life seed, a mystical power that you are determined to now track down. To do this though, you'll use what's called the leaf suit, and it's basically an exoskeleton that gives you superhuman powers, so think like super speed and epic jumps. That's really it, go uncover the mystery. There's a little bit of combat in here too, but the best way I'd look at this one, it's kind of like a walking simulator on steroids. Really enjoyed it though, it's a great little story and it kept me hooked for its four hours or so of gameplay. Okay, so super cheap time now, Serial Cleaner coming in with 90% off. In this one, you're a cleaner for the mob, meaning you're going to be basically hiding bodies and mopping up those bloodstains. What makes this one interesting though, it's the cops on duty that you're going to be fighting as you're stealthing your way around these locations. You don't want to get detected because there's no combat and no weapons get seen and it's game over. I think the first thing that's going to grab your attention with this one is for sure the visuals. I mean, look at them. Not only are they stylish, but they're just like super sharp. What's going to keep you here though, it's the addictive and ramping in difficulty gameplay loop. Don't, as I say, expect action or weapons or anything like that. This is more like panic inducing sneaking around and it definitely gets you on the edge of the seat. But if you like stealth or strategy, this is for sure one for you. Plus at this price, I mean, you can't really knock it. Twin Stick Shooter fans now Neuro Fighter. It's an old one, but still very, very good. And 57% off gets it a mention today. Here we're combining Twin Stick Shooting with a few minor like RPG elements and then a dash of roguelite and permadeath. Here the idea is simple though, you are a brain. That's right, just the brain, but you can actually jump around and control mechs. Starting with the choice of three different mech suits though, each comes with varying abilities, all chasing after the same single goal, take down the master neurofighter. What may sound simple enough though rarely is, and that's very much the case here. With that though, a nice pixel art style, a decent chip tuner soundtrack, solid control mechanics, a nicely ramping difficulty curve, and then my favourite piece, the ability to play with up to four players, local co-op absolutely worth a look so game boy fans if you're anything like me and miss the glorious you know black and green screen we grew up with dog or may just be worth a look this one the title basically tells you it all you're a dog that's also a samurai what i would have loved to have seen this story here develop more i mean who doesn't want more story about a dog samurai that goes by the name of bones and works for the special forces it very much achieves what it's like out to and that is to deliver on a retro style platform of adventure expect here to basically be hacking and slashing your way through eight different stages and locations it's fun stuff it definitely gets difficult towards the end thanks to its influences but just as a whole i've got to say this is definitely good for those pick up and play moments especially if you like retro 
So my pickup of the week then, it's when ski lifts go wrong. I can't recommend it, never played it, so if you wanna come along for the ride with me, no, it could be great, it could be awful, but from what I've read on this one, it's entertaining stuff as you work your way through what is basically a physics-based engineering puzzle experience. I'm hoping for good things, but at this price, 90% off, it's really, going to be hard to be disappointed. So now I quickly want to fire through like four games outside of the US eShop because honestly those eShops are absolutely crushing the US right now. Start with Rayman Legends 75% off, it's an absolute steal and this masterpiece platformer is a must add for everybody. Hotline Miami with 65% off and this is just basically an ultra violent top down shooter working your way through rooms, clearing them of enemies. Great visuals though, an even better soundtrack and it's just a stunner overall. Wargroove Next coming in with 50% off, a stunning strategy title and throwback to the days of like Advance Wars, absolutely worth a look. Finally, The Messenger, 50% off. This 2D platformer, I'm confident in saying, is one of the best available on the Switch. And while for sure challenging, will absolutely deliver with quality at every single step. Before great games everywhere else though, let's talk one stunner in the US, exclusively right now, Runner 3. This one it's combining auto runner elements with a whole lot of rhythm based goodness. Been a big fan of the series ever since the days of like Bit Trip Runner and here it continues the series pedigree. There's very little to say on this one, basically time your actions to the rhythm of the music that's playing in the background. Starting easy enough obviously, before you know it you'll be faced with some serious challenge and frustration. If you like the idea of overcoming challenge though, this one leads to huge reward. Runner 3, it's a must buy in my opinion, and expect to basically be jumping, sliding, kicking, floating, driving and flying your way through this crazy world to success. All right, so Death Squared next and pure genius. 75% off right now, I would seriously look into this one, especially if you're out there for like a, a co-op or even local four player experience. With a small amount of story that has a good sense of humor though, the concept here is basically simple. Navigate your way to an exit in a world made of squares where literally everything wants to kill you. And yeah, it's basically entertaining stuff. Not much else to it really, honestly, just buy it. Even single player here, it's great. You just need to control two robots at the same time by using the left and right joystick. It's gonna require a little bit more on the side of brain power if you're going this one solo as well. So Snake Pass is one I've never actually spoken about on the channel and it's about time I give this one its credit. This 3D platformer, it was pretty early on in the Switch's life cycle, but this is for fans of traditional 3D platformers in style at least, but it's bringing a control scheme unlike any other as you like sliver and wrap your way around this world to progress to that next location. It's for sure a puzzle platformer, but it just captured me instantly with its like N64 charm thanks to that visual audio design. Not the longest of experience, Experiences coming in around six hours, but with a ton of collectibles to find, you'll have plenty of reasons to go back into this one. And 70% off right now, it's a great deal for a game that is very commonly held in such high regard. So if like me, you owned a Dreamcast, Hover may just remind you of Jet Set Radio, a game I personally adored and pretty much my main reason for going into this one, honestly. This one though, it's basically an on-foot parkour racer as you work your way through a futuristic metropolis and yes, you even get to spray paint. Get through the, I'll be honest, like terrible tutorial missions at the very beginning though, and you'll find yourself in this really cool wide open hub and it's the first of many. It's definitely rough around the edges this one, but when it works, it really works. And I gotta say, it's one I always end up going back to. Maybe that's because of my love personally for Jet Set Radio with this one, but running, jumping, grinding, and wall running my way through this world was an absolute pleasure. As long as you're willing to make, you know, a few compromises on the performance front along the way. With 60% off though, I think it's the best price this one has ever been, so I wanted to give it a quick mention. So my penultimate game for the week then, The Flame in the Flood. This is one I personally adored. Here basically you're getting a survival adventure as you find yourself in a post-apocalyptic like world and it's just you, your dog and a raft against the elements. Expect resource management, exploration, defending yourself from wild animals, scavenging for items, hunting, sailing, managing upgrades, meeting locals, setting out in this world you've got this one aim uncover a mysterious radio signal and I didn't expect much from it but it just absolutely hooked me and I was totally invested. It's not a simple game I was also late to the party on this one having only played it actually recently based on a recommendation 
but it's absolutely worth the current asking price, 70% off, especially if something with a little more challenge is your thing. So my number one game of the week, they're not available in the US sadly, but it is everywhere else right now, and I'm sure it will hit the US eShop soon enough, but enter the Gungeon. Coming in with 50% off, I don't think I really need to tell you much about this one, I feel like it's pretty well known, but this bullet hell dungeon crawler, I feel at this point has now reached like legendary status, and with good reason, it's a must own for everybody. It's bringing together like roguelike elements with twin stick shooting, and it's about as addictive as they get, and you're going to find yourself for sure coming back to this one over and over again. Can't wait to see a sequel myself to this one, Exit the Dungeon was good, but I want to see the true sequel, the follow up to this. And that's it, another week 10 games under $10 or your local currency, and when I say 10 games I mean the 16 I just covered because I was like just super indecisive this week. Sometimes though there's too many to talk about and I'd rather give them all to you than be forced to you know skip some truly unique experiences. With that though if you're new here hit that subscribe button if you love the Switch as much as we all do here and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.